All right, hello and welcome back to Finky's Garage. Today I got an easy one for you. For you, we're doing an oil change on this 2023 Volkswagen Atlas. We got the oil nice and hot, so we're gonna be able to use an oil extractor to extract it out. It takes about 10 minutes, but uh, zero W30 weight for a drain plug. Metric set of Allen wrenches. Gonna need some uh, Torx bits for the belly pan. We're probably gonna need the T20. T30. Got a Wix oil filter here, part number 57462. And you're gonna need some ratchets. You're gonna need a uh, 3 8 inch ratchet and a quarter inch ratchet. Today I'm gonna be using the electric one. Let's get it done. All right, and like I said before, we got the oil nice and hot, so we can just remove the oil cap. Remove the dipstick, put that in a nice safe spot. With my air compressor ready to go, we can just plug this in like this, put that at about a 45 degree angle for now. Take our tube, and you can tell that we have vacuum on it, feel it pulling. And we'll take it and put it in the dipstick hole. far as it'll go. All right, while we wait for the oil extractor to do its thing, we're gonna go underneath the car and we're gonna pull out the belly pan so that we can access the oil filter housing. All right, and then under here, I'm gonna try to not jack up the car. But rather keep it on the ground. I don't know how many there are, but there's a lot. Oh my word. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we're gonna have to jack it up. T45s on these bolts here. Oh, they have Loctite on them, that's cool. They do not want you to do this oil change. Nope, that ain't gonna cut it. You need a special tool. Don't wanna break it. All right, so this was a pain in the rear to remove. You have like one bolt here, one in the middle, one bolt here. In hindsight, you probably don't have to remove these two outers. This one in the middle is in way of the bumper. So you have to pry the bumper down to be able to get a ratchet in there. And then you have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, T25 bolts. You have three T45 bolts with Loctite on them. And then you have this beautiful trim clip here that you can't use your average You cannot use your average trim clip removal tool, tool in here because it is so recessed. So I just went ham on it with a flathead because I figure, um, I don't know, there's what, 21 bolts here? The plastic clip's probably not doing a whole lot. It's actually into the subframe. So we'll see. Worst case, we'll zip tie it. Um, does look like there is some, some like body glue on here. Some of that like sound deadening glue. Um, 
which is pretty cool to see on a brand new car, but an 18 millimeter bolt. So it looks like the uh, dipstick tube in which you would usually extract oil from goes straight to the oil cooler slash oil filter setup. Six millimeter Allen oil filter drain. Draining that filter was almost pointless. 36 millimeter on the oil filter. Only 36 millimeter I have is a 5 8 drive. I'm doing it by hand. <laughs> Dude, you're taking this to take five next, bro. What a behemoth. Then what was the oil drain for? Literally, because that obviously didn't do anything. Oh, and there's a coolant line in the way too. Wow. New O-ring installed, lubricated. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this by hand. This will work. So, to review, this is about the worst oil change experience I have ever had. In the right to repair aspect of this car. How does this even go in? Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I'm disappointed. And the fact that this belly pan is like covered in I don't know what it's called, but it's like that, that wax, that wax that they kind of do for sound deadening. I know, I know they have it in the rear of the GTI, in the rear bumper, but I've never seen it like so close to the exhaust area. It's like for the tunnel, almost. And the fact that has just melted. I, that could lead to rust, that could lead to corrosion. And then you have to remove this belly pan to pull the filter off, which that has a drain plug, right? Pull the drain plug, you get eight ounces, but then you take the filter off and you get a whole quart. And it still goes everywhere. I, even the 2018 Atlas I had worked on um, had that drain plug. I think it's just a VR6 thing. But, I mean, how hard would it be to make a top mount oil filter? You do it on the 2 liters. You do it on the V6s. Do it on the V8s. Why? On these, do you have a bottom one? I don't get it belly pan plastic removal tool which I ain't buying and you know in 20 years or five years rather when the warranty expires people start taking them to take five oil changes we're gonna have a bunch of these with holes cut in them I'm doing that next time but then it's like you gotta use a 36 millimeter socket to get the filter off which is these days $20 tool you know you can't use an oil extractor because it goes into the oil cooler because the oil cooler and oil filter are all one and and you literally cannot put this car on jack stands without taking this belly pan off there's no way to do it which leads me down the whole right to repair question. Like a freaking iPhone, you know? If you don't have a lift, it makes it unsafe to work on it. This massive belly pan, I have plastic, plastic, plastic exhaust, 
and control arms. That's all I can see. So I jack it up. And I'm not even using the freaking jack stand right now. Because I have nowhere to put it. You have to use ramps to get the car in the air, to take the belly pan off, and then you can put it on jack stands if you need long-term solution. I mean, I'm sure I'm just complaining, but this ain't fun, man. Okay, so in conclusion, hardest oil change I've ever had to do. So first step, right, jack up your car, but wait, but wait. There's a massive belly pan down there that you can't put jack stands on. You can't put jack stands on. So you have to jack the car up, risk your life, or you can put it on ramps to do this, which at that point, it wouldn't even fit in a standard garage. So that brings up a whole right to repair situation with, hey, can I actually fix some of this stuff on my own in my own garage? And I don't think Volkswagen wants us to do this anymore. So second of all, you have to use a 36 millimeter socket to get the oil filter off. But wait, there's an Allen, there's an Allen drain bolt in the bottom of the filter. You drain that, you get eight ounces max out of the drain filter with warm oil. Pull that off, you get a quart and a half. Quart and a half comes out, just splatters everywhere. It's a massive oil filter this big. Rainfall, waterfall, whatever you want to call it, out of the engine. Every other model of Volkswagen Audi, you have a beautiful oil filter right on top. On this one, way down here. Doesn't make sense. You cannot use an oil extractor on a 2023 Atlas, or any VR6 for that matter, because the oil cooler and the oil filter housing is the same unit up here, and the dipstick just happens to go straight into that unit. I couldn't push it down any further. I could only get three quarts out with the oil extractor. Who knows how much oil would have come out of the filter if I hadn't but extracted three quarts out. Um, other than that, worst oil change ever, so follow me for more.